hello guys in uh, this video I will show you how to install Linux uh, subsystem on uh, Windows so first we have to go to the setting and uh, enable the developer mode so go to setting and you go update here for developers and developer mode select it press yes and again select it and now he's searching go to windows check update so now it's enabled Let's see if there is some update. Yeah, there is update for Windows version based system. So we minimize this. Next thing we have to do, we have to go uh, to enable the, the Linux uh, subsystem. So to do that in the star menu, right, cont and uh, control panel, press enter and control F press TU and press enter and uh, no uh, let's go back go back control F uh, right add remove press enter add remove and here uh, and add remove press tear windows feature on or off and here go very very down and here choose check this box windows subsystem for linux and press ok now he still update minimize this then after this uh, uh, installation finish you must uh, restart your system down okay guys uh, I will pause uh, this video and uh, when we finish uh, this we have uh, when we finish the update and we finish this we have to restart our system so I pause this, uh, this video and see you in the next part So uh, now we install uh, the, the Linux subsystem and we enabled uh, the developer uh, mode and uh, we update our system, we make the restart. Now we have to go to the, uh, to the Microsoft store in order to install the distros that we like in our Windows machine. So we open store and this is the Microsoft store and uh, you type for example Debian or Linux type Linux to see the available distros. So Linux so these are the distros is the Ubuntu let's see let's see all the distros so Ubuntu long-term support Ubuntu 16 open source Fedora but you have to pay nine euro nine dollar to Fedora Debian there is also Debian this no so 
let's type again Linux. Uh, press enter. Yeah, these are these are all the Linux this row here in this row. Okay. So for example, I want to install the Ubuntu. And uh, I want to install OpenSUSE, Debian. Let's see what is next. We can install. No. Okay, Ubuntu, Debian, OpenSUSE. This uh, OpenSUSE, Debian, and Ubuntu. And if you want to make the security project, you can install also Kali. Okay, so let's install these four distros. Get it? No thanks. And you start installing. Okay. So this is Kali. This is Ubuntu. Let's take uh, this one. How many stars? No, this one. When you check the stars, for example, before you make the download, you check the stars. The higher stars is the better. For example, you have this Ubuntu and this Ubuntu. Which one is better? This 128, this 197. Uh, star so you check this one get no thanks and go back now Debian get it no thanks now open source. Get it. No thanks. So we we install for distro. So we can run in this window for distro in the same time. For distro. So you open for terminal and you can run in the same time for distro. So let's see here what we have so it's still, it's still installed after that yeah let's make update fast update to see if there's some update in this application okay now close it close this window now open the terminal so first uh, let's uh, install Debian so type Debian and press enter and the installation start. Press another enter. Now open another terminal. Look, so now, uh, sorry, let's uh, make one by one, not uh, all together. So here you type your username either press enter and your password press enter again enter and then installation successfully so now we are in Debian so now update Debian sudo sudo apt update press enter your password and Debian start updated You have uh, you have uh, 24 package to update. So sudo apt upgrade. Press enter. Yeah. And Debian start upgrade. We are running uh, Windows. Uh, 10 Pro and uh, the code is uh, 1909, the newest uh, update, the newest version. So Windows 10 Pro code uh, 1909. So now we are upgrade our system. In meanwhile, let's uh, start, uh, install uh, the open source. 
So type in the terminal, open, SUS, press enter, no, open, uh, let's go to the application, open, SUS, let's go to the store, better, from the store, and we run it from the store. So here in the download, this SUS, so let's make SUS, SUS, no. Launch, okay. So file name is Linux server SP1. Also, also it is installing the SUS. Let's see, okay, Debian now, we are finished from Debian. So now we make a sudo apt again, update to be sure there is nothing yet to, up, to update or to upgrade. So now let's clear this window up here. Now uh, let's check our version, you name, minus R, press enter. So we have the kernel 4.4. Zero. Let's install some packages in uh, Debian. Let's uh, install the aptitude installer. So make sudo apt install aptitude. Press enter. And uh, now we are installed this package. It takes some time. Now sudo. Now, uh, now we are the introduced as a root. We are just as a normal user. Let's uh, enter as the super user. So sudo minus i. Press enter. Now let us in install. Uh, use aptitude to install some application. Let's install the htop and the new fetch. So aptitude install htop space new fetch. Press enter and press yes. So while uh, the Debian uh, in installing uh, these two packages, let's go to OpenSUSE to see what's happening. So also uh, in OpenSUSE, this uh, the other distro, it is uh, also uh, uh, sponsored and uh, powered by SUSE, the German company. So here uh, we have to enter our name, username. So hider, press enter. And we failed. Enter Unix name, hider, okay. And password, and password, password. Okay, I don't, uh, I will not uh, use open source because I hate it when you make like this. It's, uh, we call it in Italian, this is Colioni. So we don't use the Colioni in our Colioni, in our, uh, in our uh, machine. So, here, uh, let's go back to Debian, the normal people in Debian. So let's uh, check the, 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 the two packages that we installed, the htop and the new page. So htop, press enter, and it's work, very fine. So we have uh, five gig uh, uh, of RAM. We are, uh, our, our system uses five gig of RAM over 32 one gig of RAM. And here's the, the cores. The CPU cores, the core one, core two, core three, and core four. Okay, let's go out. To go out, press Control Alt C, and now you type new fetch to see the sorry new 
fetch to see the system of formation and this is the system of formation uh, the Benigno 10 booster on Windows 10 and uh, the bash the kernel 4.4 it is old kernel and Intel i7 blah 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 and we are using 5.5 gig of RAM over uh, 32 gig of RAM okay so let's uh, see what's uh, no make cd dot dot now let's see so this is the file system that we installed in debian so let's enter to user and these are the users here are the games this is the include and here's the local and here's the share file let's enter to the share file share and there is nothing in this uh, share no cd uh i didn't enter to the share share let's see ls let's see cd media for example media if there's something installed and uh, let's see ls nothing installed so let's out from uh, this uh, directory okay again okay so now we are out from the directory so now uh, this is the debian installation let's uh, go out from debian out again and now we are in the terminal let's uh, install ubuntu ubuntu press enter and take a minute so while uh, we install uh, while this installation finish let's go to the app, uh, uh, application store and or no i want to remove this guy because this is colony we don't use colony in our system so to remove it from the root and to f it uh, we use uh, cc cleaner and the cc cleaner we go to tools Thanks God I saw this Kogoni because this is not uh, this is not how Linux behave or treat the users. So this is the open source. Look this Kogoni, we will fuck him. We make an install. Okay. Okay, and the Kogoni is gone. So let's see here in the downloads again. No, it is not done. Gone. Why? I knew that. So let's uh, finish install Ubuntu. So username, password, password, and uh, this is Ubuntu. So let's uh, check if there is some update. Sudo apt update. Press enter your password and check the update. So here go out. Uh, I want to this colonia. I, I my brain will never rest in peace unless I kick out this colony from my system. So right uh, control and go to and then check the colony where the install. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. So uh, back to Ubuntu, we have uh, 41 package to upgrade, to upgrade, so we upgrade them, sudo, apt, uh, dist, minus upgrade, press enter, and press here. So now let's go to CC Cleaner again, to check. Camera open source or SUS. So we have Debian. We have Kali. And uh, the bad guy, he is not here. So let's see again. Uh, store. We hope it's uh, removed. Yeah, it's removed. Yeah. So we have to close. Okay, now, so now the colony is gone. Uh, so open source i will call it from now i will name it the colony open source the colonies we remove it 
So now we have uh, uh, three distros, uh, Kali, Debian, and Ubuntu. Now we are installing uh, Ubuntu. Uh, we finished the installation of Ubuntu. Now we make upgrade to the packages. So here, uh, let's close this. Okay. We are 50% in the progress. So let's open three terminal. One, two, three. No, uh, in the end, let's, in the end of the show, let's uh, see what will happen. So now, uh, the, Salute. And this, this is how we drink the black tea with milk. And after this uh, half liter of black tea with milk, we have to smoke some cigar. I don't smoke weed, but I love the people who smoke weed. In Switzerland, the most uh, student in the University of uh, Logano and University the ETH the ETH Polytechnic of Zurich. Most of the mathematicians they smoke weed and they took uh, heroin. Not heroin, not heroin. I don't know what kind of it, but there is kind of a drug they use it. But I don't uh, take a drug. I smoke maybe four or seven times weed but uh, it's destroyed my brain okay so now you see uh, we we finish uh, the installation of uh, ubuntu so now uh, let's exit no uh, let's uh, let install aptitude so sudo apt install Aptitude and yeah, yeah, So now we finish uh, the aptitude. So now we uh, we are in the normal user. So we, let's enter as a super user, as a root. So sudo, press I, press, uh, no, sorry, sudo, and enter. So now aptitude, and install, uh, htop. And a new, a new fit, and press enter. So let's roll uh, our cigarette. Type new fit for the rolling. Release new fit. Teach. Press enter, and this is the open tool. We install successfully on the Windows. And the same information, i7, U, to blah, 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 and the 5 gig uh, of RAM over th uh, 32. So let's exit from here. Let's exit again. So let's exit, right? Ex uh, exit. Exit. Okay. So let's install Kali. 
Kalima. We go to store to check uh, the name of Kalima because uh, so Kali K A L I. So type in the terminal K A L I and press enter. We hope uh, Kali will uh, not trace us. Uh, uh, is not uh, you know we hope that uh, Kali is not Colioni. Colioni is it, it Italian word. It's a graphic, uh, very graphic and a very insult uh, word. So we hope Kali do not be a Colioni. Do not be copy paste of uh, open source. The Colioni company. Press enter. Okay, no, I make a mistake. Now I am the Colioni, not uh, this guy. So let's type something. Let's uh, go out. And uh, let's print Kali again. Exit. Exit. And uh, open the terminal. Type Kali. Uh, now sudo apt update now uh, sudo apt upgrade yes So for the system security, Kali is important. It is, uh, you can hack uh, any network. Uh, you can uh, use, uh, you make the test. Uh, uh, if you have uh, two users, for example, Alex and Bo, and uh, there is a man, a man in the middle, how to hack. Uh, Alex uh, of what learn how to, to study the case of uh, hacking Alex and Bo and uh, what kind of uh, protocol they use in the communication do they, do they use the public key or private key and uh, the uh, the CIA level confidentiality integrity uh, integrity and availability Vulnerability, CIA, uh, availability, CIA level. You check it. and uh, X, uh, X, uh, other other term of the system security. For example, how to create, uh, how to protect uh, the user when they serve the web, when they serve uh, the in the unsafe uh, in the unsafe uh, world, which is the website. And in the very end, I arrive to this conclusion. If you want to protect yourself, just disable the JavaScript and 99% of the problem will be disabled. But by disabling the script, the JavaScript, uh, you'll face some trouble. Some media will not work. The Flash Player, for example, Media Player will not work on the website. But generally speaking, to be secure, 99% of the problem will be solved if you use the, if you disable the JavaScript. There is some browser, they can, uh, you can easily disable the script, JavaScript. So now uh, Kali, our friend, will be installed. By, by the way, I will remove it and install it again because I didn't register my username. Uh, I make a mistake, but uh, now let's finish. Okay, so same thing. Let's install two packages. sudo apt uh, install. Let's install aptitude. Aptitude. I 
Front Aptitude Install, uh, Start uh, and Install, install by Aptitude. Okay, uh, now sudo. Uh, uh -huh. So aptitude install htop and uh, new pitch. Now let's see what's open. Let's close the store. We finished from the store. Uh, 1900% of the CPU. It's running. 49, okay. Okay, so now uh, Kali is in install. Okay, let's exit. Exit. And uh, let's see this. Okay, let's open a three terminal. One, two, three. Let's put this here. And this here. And this is down. So here, let's type Debian. Enter. And uh, new fetch enter here let type ubuntu ubuntu enter and the new fetch enter and here let type kali kali enter and the new fetch enter So see, we have, uh, let's hide uh, this guy. Automatic hide, automatic hide taskbar. So let's see. Again, and uh, automatically, okay. So we have Debian here and we have Ubuntu again Ubuntu so new pitch no uh, let's manage. So we have Ubuntu here, Debian here, and Kali down. And this is the Kali. You see? So three Linux distro, three Linux operating system or distro is here plus Windows. So now we finish. I hope you enjoy this, uh, this uh, tutorial and uh, we hope you, you learn something. In the next video, I will show you how to install uh, a good uh, terminal in Windows to use these uh, operating uh, systems. Okay, guys, as always, stay safe uh, 
andrà tutto bene, ci vediamo dopo.